Hello everyone, welcome here in our channel, Learning From Home with Teach Rosa. For today, we're going to learn about the different parts of a plant and their functions. Let's begin with our learning objectives. First, identify the parts of a plant. Next, tell the function of each part and connect the function to its correct part of the plant. Let's begin. Let's guess what plant am I? So this is a guessing game. Let's guess the plant. Are you ready? Great. Let's start with this one. What is this? Yes, it's a tomato. This one. Correct, it's eggplant. How about this? Right, it's mango. This one. Yes, it's banana. Correct, this one. Bell pepper, yes. How about this? Oh, an apple. Great. How about this one? Correct, it is guava. Yeah. How about this? Very popular these days. Yes, it's a lemon. Okay, great. Let's name one more time these plants, kids. Tomato. Eggplant, mango, banana, bell pepper, apple, guava, and lemon. Yay! Very good. Okay, next let's proceed. Let's go to the different flowers that we can see here. This one is a Correct, it's rose. How about this? Sunflower, great. And this one? Gumamela or hibiscus. How about this one? Santan, yes. This one? Sampaguita, our national flower. Next one? It's Daisy, great. Let's name one more time, kids. Rose, sunflower, gumamela, santa, sampaguita, and daisy. Very good. Okay, great job with that, kids. Let's go right away to the different parts of a plant. Let's begin with this one. What do you call to this plant? Correct, it's a sunflower. This one, tomato. How about this? Yes, it's mango. Okay, now let's go to this one first. Okay, if you can see, there is a parenthesis here. There are two. So many, it is divided into two for the sunflower, this part. Okay, for this part, it's a shoot of a plant. What is a shoot of a plant? It's a part of a plant above the soil that we can see. So this part, we can see this part. So this is what we call the shoot of a plant. This one, root of a plant. Yes, this is a part of a plant below the soil that we cannot see. So for this part, okay, that's the root of a plant. Again, this part is the shoot of the plant, while this one is the root of a plant very good okay for the parts of a sunflower let's have this this is the roots correct this one at the center here stem very good this one leaf right how about this flower correct okay so this are the two or these are the different parts of the sunflower let's begin with the roots stem leaf and flower correct this time let's have the parts of a tomato this is the or these are the roots this one stem this one flower this one fruit and the Leaf. Let's name the different parts of a tomato once more. Roots, stem, flower, 
fruit and leaf. Very good. Now let's go to the parts of a mango tree. This part is the? Okay, yes, that's roots. This one. That's the trunk. This is what we call the trunk. It's a big stem of a tree. Okay, how about this? Branches, right. How about this part, the green part? Leaves, correct. How about this? Flowers, great. This one? Fruit, correct. Okay, let's name the part of the mango tree once more. Roots trunk, branches, leaves, flowers, and fruit. Great job, kids. Now let's go to the different functions of each part of the plant. We have the functions. What does each part do to the plant? Okay, next have or let's have first the roots. This is the, these are the roots of the tomato. The work of the roots or the function of the roots is to absorb water and minerals from the soil. So under the soil kits, there's water and minerals. The roots is responsible for absorbing them. Also, it holds and anchor the plant so it will not fall over, of course. Um, the roots is being anchored or the plant is being anchored rather with the roots okay the roots under the soil so yes it hold the plant in place okay one more time the the work of the roots or the function of the roots absorb water and minerals from the soil and hold and anchor the plant so it will not fall over very good okay next let's proceed to this part this one this is the stem. The work of the stem or the function of the stem is to allow water and minerals or nutrients rather to flow up to the leaves. Again, stem allows water and nutrients to flow up to the leaves. So if this is the stem or if this is the, the water and the nutrients, it flows up to the stem going up to the leaves and to the different parts of the plant, okay? And another function, the stem helps hold the plant. Together with the roots, the stem hold the plant so it will not fall. Again, the function of the stem is to allow water and nutrients to flow up to the leaves and helps hold the plant. Very good. Now let's go to this part. This is a mango tree. The big stem of a tree is called a trunk. Very good. So this part is a trunk. How about this part? Yes, this is a branch or branches rather. These are branches. Okay, the branches are the extended part of a plants that hold the leaves, flowers, and fruits of a plant. Again, extended part. So it's just above the trunk itself. So the whole it hold or they hold the leaves, flowers, and fruits of the plant. That's the work or the function of the branches. Great. Very good. Now let's go to this part. The leaves. It collects sunlight and make food for the plant. Again, the leaves collect sunlight and make food for the plant. This is what we call um, the, this is where the process of photosynthesis rather takes place. Okay, the cooking of the food of the plant happens in the leaves through the process of photosynthesis. So um, we'll have a separate um, video for that. We'll have a separate lesson for that, the process of photosynthesis. Now let's go here. This one. Yes, it's a flower. The work of the flower, or the function of the flower. Okay, it's a colorful part of the plant that attracts insects and pollinators like bees, also butterflies. 
okay and it turns into fruit for fruit bearing plants for this one this is a tomato and this flower turns into fruit which is the tomato itself okay again the function of the flower it is the colorful part of the plant that attracts insects and pollinators like bees and butterflies and other insects it turns into fruit for fruit bearing plants right okay now let's go to this part fruit okay it protects the seed so inside this fruit is the seed itself okay it can be edible or non-edible when we say edible it can be eaten non-edible it cannot be eaten okay now let's go this inside this fruit is the seed and the seed develops into a new plant like this one especially when planted into the soil and later on it will grow into a big plant like this a big mango this one is a mango so it will grow as years goes by okay all right let's take a review kids parts of the sunflower we have roots stem leaf flower very good now for the parts of a mango tree roots trunk branches leaves fruit and flowers okay let's try this one let's identify the parts of the plant what's this roots correct this one fruit right this one seed very good this one trunk correct this one or these are branches okay let's name one more time roots fruit seed trunk and branches very good now let's have this one connect the function to its correct part of the plant okay let's have the function first collect sunlight and make food for the plant next absorb water and minerals from the soil next edible part of the plant next allows water and nutrients to flow up to the leaves let's have the different parts here fruit stem roots and leaves and we have the indicators here the dots for us to connect okay first collect sunlight and make food for the plant whose function is that or which part does it take place yes that's the leaves okay leaves collect sunlight and make food for the plant next for number two it absorbs water and minerals from the soil that's the work of the roots correct the roots absorb water and minerals from the soil next edible part of the plant so many edible it can be eaten that's the fruit correct the fruit can be eaten okay next allows water and nutrients to flow up to the leaves that's the stem right correct great job everyone thank you so much it's been a great day now if you are new to my channel please consider like and su subscribe okay i hope you learned something from our lesson today i hope to see you next time bye take care